Welcome to Aarti's Education. In this video, we are going to learn about problem set 31. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start our problem set. Question number 1 is, in the figure given alongside, points S, L, M and N are on the circle. Answer the questions with the help of the diagram. Here, in first question, two questions are asked and a diagram is given alongside. We have to observe the diagram and answer the questions. These questions are related to arc. The first question is, write the names of the arcs with endpoints S and M. Here is S and here is M. We have to write the names of the arc. We can see here S, L and M. This is the first arc. Write the answer for our first question. You have to write in your notebook. I am going to show you so you can easily understand here. Arc S L M. Then we have take care of our endpoints that are S and M. The second arc is S, N, and M. You can see this big arc S, N, and M. Arc S, N and M. These two arcs having endpoints S and M. Now look at the second question. Write the names of the arcs with the endpoints L and N. Now they ask us to have the endpoints L and N. Here is L and here is N. Now, look here. This is an first arc. L, M and N. The answer for our second question is arc L, M and N. And the second arc is L, S and N. This one. Arc, L, S and N. It's so easy. You just have to take care of your endpoints. Now, the second question. The second question is, write the names of arcs that points A, B, C and G in the given circle give rise to. Here we have to write the name of arcs that have different endpoints ending with A, B, C and D. How? Let's start to write here. The first name of arc is, look here, the arc have three letter name. So we are going to start from A, right here A. We can write here A, B, C, arc. A, B, C. Next name of arc is arc A, D, C. Arc A, D, C. These two arcs have endpoints. AC. Then second one we can write now starting from D. Arc D A B and second arc is arc D C B. Now 
we are going to start from C. Let's write here arc C B A then arc C D A. These two arcs have C and A as the endpoints like A C. Now fourth one is we are going to start from now B arc B A D and arc B C D when you observe our second and fourth answer we can see that the arc are same but their starting point are different so we have to write like this now third question give the names of the arcs that are made by points p q r s and t in the figure we are going to solve it as uh, question number two let's start from arc which which have starting point p arc p q r this is arc p q r the second arc is arc p t s this one p t and s p t s we can also write arc p t r this big one p t r the second one is now starting from t arc T S R and arc T P R. You can also write arc T P Q. These are the names of arcs which are made from different points. These are the name of arcs which are starting from point P and point T. Now you can write here like this for point Q, point R and point S also. Now the fourth question is measure and note down the circumference of different circular objects it is convenient to use a measuring tape for this purpose so we if you have a measuring tape you can use it and if you don't have a measuring tape you can use your ruler need it for a scale then a thread and, and circular objects like this Measure it, which are available in your house, and write your observations in the answer of question 4. I show you how to measure it in my last video. I hope you will understand, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Here, our First term is complete. Now from next problem set, our second term is start. So, part 2, multiples and factors. Let's see you in next video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.